Hey guys, so I parked right there uh, in this little gas station center here last night. Nobody ever bothered me or anything. Um, I woke up a little while ago, got dressed, uh, had something to eat and everything. So now I'm headed over to Old Faithful, which is about 42 miles away according to the signs. And um, I will talk to you guys when I get over there. Uh, and of course, any pretty scenery, I'll get it snapped for you. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Oh, no, Hey guys, that was uh, the beginning of the Norris geysers, a uh, little pool there where the water's boiling and like three or four different geysers. I'm looking forward to seeing the big one, the Old Faithful here shortly. That was kind of cool.
Hey guys, so I was gonna go check out the, uh, the geysers in the geyser basin, but it uh, started hailing and uh, a, ni a nasty little breeze is coming through, so it's cold. I'm gonna go and sit around in the van for a little while and uh, then if uh, it clears up a little bit, I'll go and deal with it. Otherwise, uh, I think I'm just gonna go down to Old Faithful and uh, put on a couple layers hey guys so the uh, wind let up a little bit and the hail turned into snowflakes so I'm gonna go back in and uh, see about taking a walk through here the uh, geyser basin here and uh, I'll show you what I can see um, between the snowflakes <laughs> Hey guys, I don't know if you guys can make it out, but uh, with all the steam and the snow, but uh, there's one of the geysers. It just keeps free flowing, boiling it up from the surface of the earth. I think that's pretty badass. Hey guys, so here in the sulfur basin, stuff really, really smells strong sulfur. I mean, in the geyser basin, uh, should be called the sulfur basin. But anyways, um, there's like four or five different geysers in here and, and a bunch of bubbling mud pots. So it was pretty cool coming through here. I got another geyser that's coming up here on the uh, left-hand side here pretty quick. Uh, I'll show you that in just a moment. Hey guys, it's way colder today than it was yesterday. <clears throat> or even when I was going over the mountain pass coming in from Red Lodge, Montana. So um, I'm gonna go check out uh, Old Faithful. And then I think I'm gonna go head up into the Mammoth Hot Springs area and just chill out there for a while. Uh, the rest of this park is uh, it's snowing and pretty cold. so. I figured the high desert, which is what it's considered over there at Mammoth Hot Springs, um, might be a little bit better for me anyways. I'll talk to you in a bit. You can see all the steam roaring from the geyser right there already. Uh, pulling up on it. I'm going to find a parking spot here and then uh, hike up over to it. I didn't. It's kind of wild how many geysers there are over here and they all pour into this river. Uh, I got some film of a couple of the waterfalls but uh, that's a lot of geysers. Okay guys, so now we are officially at Old Faithful. So the geyser over in here is Old Faithful's back in here. I'm gonna get it parked over here. I'm gonna sit around, even if I have to sit around for a couple of times, I wanna see the geyser go off. So, and I'm hoping to get it, the geyser on video too, guys, so that you can all see it go off too. So talk to you soon. I'm going to grab my hat and throw on my sweatshirt and get on out there and uh, 
talk to you when I get done. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hey guys, it was really cool watching the geyser and uh, now I'm headed off to Mammoth Hot Springs to find a place to sleep tonight. There's the uh, actual park where I was at the uh, geyser, about a hundred yards over there. And I will be seeing you soon. And uh, I'll give you a good night. And uh, if there's enough light on my way and I see anything cool, I'll try to show it to you. Talk to you later, guys. Hey guys, so uh, here I am heading up to Mammoth Hot Springs and uh, there's road destruction up here too. So apparently even all the national parks have road destruction going on. Um, <clears throat> hopefully they have something built back up that's a lot nicer than was here before because the roadways here look pretty good. Hey guys, so <clears throat> I'm up here on a terrace. Looks like it's overlooking the... Uh, Mammoth Hot Springs uh, recreation area here in Yellowstone. Um, I think this is a good spot for me to crash. So I am going to uh, lay down and get some Z's and then uh, I'll go down the hill into the area there. Or maybe I'll go check it out first. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down there and check out uh, the lights that I saw see what it is and then come back up hey guys <clears throat> so i'm actually in in mammoth hot springs right across from the hotel and parked in a parking space that is right in front of one of the hot springs that are fenced off so i'll show that to you in the morning um obviously you can't get in it because it's fenced off but it is it's steaming away and uh <clears throat> I am about 80 miles away from Bozeman, Montana right now. Uh, I plan on crashing tomorrow in Missoula, Montana, which is about 270 miles away. On my way out to Moses Lake, which is a little farm town that I grew up in. So, y'all have a good night. Get out there and connect with people. Live your lives. And let other people live theirs. Peace.